What's up guys, Hamish here, and today we're gonna jump in with a real quick video and we're gonna break down how you can get some new Black Armory weapons inside of the game right now. So obviously this is pretty exciting stuff. In case you're wondering why my voice may sound a little bit different, I am recording in a hotel room right now, so do pardon me on that one, but we're gonna take a look at a way that you can acquire a bunch of new weapons that are coming in Black Armory that actually feature random rolls. And these are acquired, or can be acquired, by farming enemies inside of different patrols in the game right now. And these are DLC enemies that'll show up. So we're gonna break down how all of it works inside of this video, guys. If you do enjoy it, a like is very much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe. But now let's get into it. So firstly, before I talk about this one, I do have to say a massive thanks to my pal Jarvinus for sending me this footage over. Like I said, I'm away in Germany right now, but I did want to get a video out for you guys. So nonetheless, massive props to Jarv for recording this footage for me while I've been away. I'll link his channel down below. He covers a bunch of Destiny content as well, so definitely worth checking out. But essentially, with the Season 5 update going on in the game right now, it is possible to acquire a bunch of different Black Armory weapons that feature random rolls. You can see a bunch of them right here. These are some screenshots of the potential weapons that you can actually get. And as you can see, mostly they are kind of reworked year one weapons. They do have these cool new kind of shaders on them and they feature random rolls. I don't believe this is intended to be happening in the game right now, but who knows? But how do you actually pick any of these new weapons up? Well, as you can see in my friend Jarv's footage right here, there are new saboteur enemies that actually spawn into patrol locations. These are DLC enemies, but you can currently find them in the European dead zone. So if you check out the map, there are two spawn locations in EDZ, one on the outskirts and one on the gulch. And then the footage I've got right here shows two other spawn locations. We've got Artifact's Edge by the Broken Ship and the Hallows, which is the area immediately next to Artifact's Edge on the map. It doesn't have a fast travel location, so you do have to drive from Artifact's Edge, but it actually makes for a pretty decent farm for these enemies. So the saboteurs themselves will actually spawn every five to ten minutes, and to spawn the enemy, you'll have to interact with the crate that you'll find spawns in. Now, it will say collect loot. You won't, however, actually get any rewards when you do this, but the saboteur enemies themselves do have a chance to drop new Black Armory Legendary is. And you can see from Jarv's footage right here, he actually picks up the Hoosgau, now appearing with a bunch of interesting letters and numbers after the name right there. It does come with a shader called Bold Statement. This is actually a DLC shader, so that's pretty cool. But this rocket has smart drift control. We've got Countermass and Confined Launch, as well as Auto Loading Holster and Ambitious Assassin. Nothing too exciting on the roll itself right there, but you do randomly have the chance to obtain these new weapons with random rolls when you kill the saboteur enemies. So just to take a look right here, Tiga and Gibby on Reddit actually posted a bunch of images of different weapons that you can pick up. So we've got the Balagant, and you can see some of the interesting rolls here. Double Rampage is actually rolling on this thing. Of course, that is just a potential bonus set. I'm not sure if these are actually supposed to do that. We do have the Show of Force Sniper Rifle. The Atlanta D, of course the SMG, reworked with some slightly new visuals. We've got the Galliard 42, the Bad News Hand Cannon, the Swift Ride Pulse Rifle, the Tango 45, the Acantha D Grenade Launcher, the Dead Man Walking. So as you can see, they are a bunch of changed and reworked weapons for Year 2, but they're coming from Year 1, now featuring random rolls, as well as the slightly updated visuals. On top of this, though, there are triumphs in the game to actually kill the saboteurs that you'll find in patrol. So bear in mind those two locations, EDZ near the outskirts and the gulch, Artifacts Edge and Hallows on Nessus are two spots where you can currently farm out these enemies. So guys, that is going to summarize the video right now. You can see some of the map locations on the screen, but I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, a like is very much appreciated. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on any of these down below. Of course, they are just some early drops. These aren't the core focus of the DLC or anything like that, but you can get some pretty interesting rolls. So good luck if you are grinding for them. Massive thanks to Jarv for sending me the footage over while I'm away. Really appreciate that. And I'll link his channel down below. But if you guys have enjoyed the video, a like is very much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe to see a lot more D2 content. But for now, I will catch you guys very soon.